What's up guys, it's Boy Lou here. Welcome to another video. Today is gonna be part two of the food tour in New York City. We are currently headed to Brooklyn right now. It's gonna be a great time. We're trying out mochi cookies, hot donuts. We got kebabs and even crepes. I literally cannot wait to show you guys all the great food that we have. Stay tuned. And also, if you guys haven't watched the last food tour yet, check this out right here if you haven't seen it yet. Let's get to the first food spot. All right guys, so we are at our first food spot in it's like anime. <laughs> you know how they do so many extra things. All right, so we're actually outside of the decal food market. If you guys didn't know what this is, this is a giant like mall. It has a bunch of like different things. And uh, downstairs, there's a bunch of food spots. We actually have two food spots downstairs, but before the time that we actually eat that, we got a special delivery from the boys. I'm actually gonna roll the interview from the boys right now. Hi, my name is Kurt from The Boys Co. I'm one of the co-founders. The Boys is actually a Filipino-owned business. We specialize in mochi-based desserts. I have a little bit something for you here. This is one of our products. These are called mookies. It's mochi-filled cookies. Basically, they are shortbread uh, style. Inside is going to be a mochi filling, as well as some flavorings that are Asian-inspired. What we got right here is going to be our classics. We got the matcha, wow. the ube, which is just the purple yam, and then salted caramel. Oh my god. To order, you could go through our website or our Instagram. It's www.theboysco, the boys, B-O-I-I-S-C-O. Dot com. Thank you so Thank much you for so having much. me, man. I really appreciate, appreciate it. that. Now that we're back, um, let me show you guys exactly what they got us. As he mentioned earlier, we got salted caramel, we have matcha, and we have ube, which is purple yams. He did tell me the best way that you eat these, you want to microwave them or actually air fry them. But because we don't have one around us, we're going to try one of each. If you guys didn't know, these are mookies, which is essentially mochi cookies. They merged the two, made them have sex, and had babies, and these are them. All right, we're going to try the purple ube one first. And guys, please support them. If you guys are in New York, they freaking deliver. You just place an order, and they're not expensive either. Should I just one bite this? No, don't one bite it. Take your time. Oh, you, why? Whoa. The outside of the cookie, the inside has mochi in it. It has the mochi filling. If you guys have ever eaten mochi before, the inside is a little bit, um, it's like soft and sticky-ish. It's so delicious. It's so much different than a regular cookie. It feels like you're eating a undercooked cookie, which I love. The flavor of the ube one, it's very light. So it's not offensive at all and it's really good. If you guys have ever had ube, it's essentially purple yams. It tastes a lot like sweet potato. Freaking delicious, I'll tell you that. I know microwaved, that's gonna make me nut. I'm gonna give that an 8.6. That was really good. We're gonna try the salted caramel one. As you guys can see, you can see the mochi inside right here. Mmm, the salted caramel one, it tastes a lot like a sugar cookie. You can definitely taste the salt and the caramel inside of it. It's so good. Imagine a salted caramel macaroon all inside a cookie with mochi, mochi it filling. It tastes like a caramel latte. Oh, it does kind of taste like a caramel latte. This is like actually kind of genius. Who would have thought? This one's going to get an 8.3. This is really good. All right. All right, so here we have the matcha. Super excited to try this out. Ah, parkour, parkour. Ah. Get you guys the inside of this. Ooh, it's purple inside. Look at that. This is my favorite one. 8.9, so good. The inside right here, guys, that purple part, so good. Oh my God. Thank you, Kurt. I really appreciate this. This is so freaking good, man. All right, so Mookies. I'm gonna give you guys an 8.8. .8. But I bet you if we microwave those, over a nine, every single one of them. That matcha one is an 8.9, it's so good. What an interesting concept. I really love this. I strongly recommend you guys check them out. If you guys are in New York and you guys want them delivered, it's gonna be in the description box down below. I'm sure at some point, you can also get them delivered across states as well. And with that being said, we're gonna go in decal food hall for the next spot. And now we're at Cousins Dozens, located at the Decal Food Market in Brooklyn, New York. With being in the hot donut business for over 25 years, Cousins Dozens is known for their specialty mini donuts with customized toppings and alcoholic infusions. Their menu includes classics and specialties such as the Crazy Glazy, Funnel Cake Powdered, Fruity Pebbles, and many more. They also have what's known as Donuts for Grown Ups, which has alcoholic infused drizzles with flavors like Hennessy, Pink Moscato, and Coquito. Oh, and did I mention each mini donut clocks in at only around 31 calories? Can't ask for much more than that. I'm super excited to try everything out, but First, let's meet the owner, Todd. Hi, I'm Todd Jones, the CEO of Cousins Dozen, the Hot Fresh Mini Donut Company. We make Hot Fresh Mini Donuts right in front of you. We call it entertainment. That you guys have alcoholic donuts. What is that? Actually called donuts for grown-ups. We make 
Hennessy donuts, we make Coquito donuts, we make Pink Moscato, we do Douce, Ciroc, any type of liquor donuts we do. Tell me about your tattoos here. This is a donutologist tattoo right here. I've been making donuts now for 45 years. This is the logo for the donutologist, and this is the logo for Cousins Dozen since 1993. That's commitment right there. Yes, sir. We make many donuts, and we say many is a new skinny, only 31 calories per donut. Our secret ingredient is, I'm just letting you know right now, is love. We put love in our oh, donuts. I love that. Yeah, we love what we do. What should we try tonight? Oh man, I'm gonna. You guys are gonna try a lot. You're gonna try <laughs> our funnel cake donuts, donuts for grown-ups. I'm gonna hit you with the Hennessy and the Coquito, the Crazy Glazy. You're gonna try them all. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate you having us. Appreciate you, guys. We got to make this dude right here come to North Carolina. When he comes down there and he has a food truck there, I want you guys to check him out. We have a lot of North Carolina followers. You guys would love this place. So first off, let's try this one. So we got the funnel cake. What is it called? Funnel cake powder. That's how classic. Funnel cake powder. Oh, I'm excited. Also, I get like exclusive rights in here. I'm, I'm sitting in the place. Whoa, this isn't like a regular donut. It almost dissolves in your mouth. I'm not joking, guys. If you have, I put this straight in my mouth, I think it's all been. <laughs> if you're in science class, yeah. you start learning about how if you pour something, yeah, uh, chemicals, you. it'll just start dissolving. Yeah, That's how it feels in my powder. tongue. It just comes right down. Also, it's somewhat healthy. Are you kidding me? These are mini donuts. There are barely any calories. These are awesome. 31 calories, guys. This reminds me of the NC State Fair. Tastes just like a funnel cake, as if, if it was to dissolve in your mouth. I think this is perfect for anyone who loves funnel cakes. I'm gonna give this one 8.4. I had to hold myself back from just eating the rest of that. So here we have the glaze, right? Crazy glazy. Crazy glazy. I love glazed donuts from Krispy Kreme especially, so let's see how these compare. Shout out to Krispy Kreme in North Carolina. Yeah. Well, let me eat one more before I make this, make the conclusion. This one's better. Really? Yeah. And there's a reason why it's better. It's the dissolve factor. The feel of these donuts are different than the other feel of donuts. When you bite into a Krispy Kreme, it's, a, it's flaky. This one, again, it dissolves. You can taste almost every like little bit. Whatever the recipe is that he's got here, it's good. This one is a nine. Highly recommend this one. This is so good. This, I love glazed donuts though. This is the Hennessy glaze. Hennessy glaze. My dad would love this. Woo! Who came up with this, man? Like, what? who, who came I'm up with this idea, man? man? I'm a donutologist. Yeah. What I do, man? Hennessy glazed donuts here. Let's give this a shot. Literally. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it, it smells like Hennessy yeah. hardcore. Oh. Okay, so at first, you get like a, a heavy glaze, kind of, kind of similar to this one. And then, at, in about like 1.2 seconds, it smacks you with Hennessy. It's like you just, you just chugged a, a bottle of Hennessy and then that taste just hits you. Yeah. That's really good. I'm gonna give this an 8.9, just because I don't want to be thrown this glaze one. I love the glaze one. Bro, donuts for grown-ups. You can't find this anywhere else, I'm telling you. So here we got the Tiger Woo. Not Tiger Woods, we're not paying him. Let's give this a little drinky here. Oh. Oh my god, you know what this tastes like? It tastes like a fresh lemonade, like freshly squeezed, right? But you sacrifice a little bit of the sugar for more sour, which I like. I like sour lemonades. It has a refreshing iced tea, like slash on it. It's so good. I'm gonna give this a nine. This is really refreshing, great for summertime. This is gonna sell out in North Carolina, I'll tell you that. Oh, what is this here? Coquito donut. Coquito donut, what's, what's in the Coquito? Coquito is a Spanish Puerto Rican uh, blend of like eggnog. Oh, it smells good. <laughs> well, so you got the glaze, but the flavor of it is unparalleled. It's hard for me to describe it. He said that there's five or, th or six different things in there. It makes a lot of sense. This is a 9.2. This is the best one. This is the best one so far. I thought that that glaze one was gonna sell it, but this Coquito, dude, so far, this is my favorite one. 9.2. It almost makes me feel like I'm in, it sounds weird, but I'm in like a tropical area. So good. So cousins, dozens, First of all, it's in a great location. This place is beautiful, especially when they open up indoor dining. I think everyone's gonna love this place. So if you guys are in New York, I strongly recommend you guys check this out. Also check out the link in the description box down below. You guys can check out their Instagram and their website. This dude right here, man, he is 
the Leonardo da Vinci of donuts. He's the black Leonardo da Vinci. He's coming up with inventions that I've never seen before. The one thing that I love about restaurants is when they have a different selling point and a competitive advantage because they just have something that other places don't have. And this is one of those places for sure. I'm gonna give Cousins Dozens a 9.1. Really, really great spot. I strongly recommend you guys check it out, especially when it comes down to North Carolina. <laughs> so we're gonna go to Eight Turn Crepes here in the Decal Food Hall, and then we'll, uh, we'll check out the crepes there. See you guys there. Located just steps away is Eight Turn Crepes. Also in the Decal Food Hall, Eight Turn Crepes is a local crepe hotspot. Here they have a vast selection of both savory and sweet crepes. If you're in the mood for savory, you can go with classics like the bacon, egg, and cheese, or even a more rare flavor like the Thai chicken. But if you're in the mood for sweet, there's also a wide selection there with flavors like the strawberry Nutella, creme brulee, lychee valentine, and many more. Personally, I'm in the mood for some sweet crepes, so let's give them a try. All right, guys, so we are outside of Decal Food Hall right now. We went to Eight Turn Crepes. We got a lychee valentino, it has raspberries, lychee, and some type of cream. Let's give it a shot here. How do you eat a crepe in a cup? <laughs> Bro, lychee, the guy who put this on the menu knew what he was doing. The crepes has some chew to it. I love the lychee in this. Oh, is that walnuts? Yo, raspberries, this is a great mix. So here we have the dolce de leche. It literally smells like Mexico. There's something about crepes and strawberries. This one's better than the lychee one for sure. Mmm, they're very chewy. Look at those nuts. I love me some nuts. Delicious. We got the strawberry Nutella. This is what I've been waiting for. This is their most popular one, and I love Nutella. Easily, best one. You can't go wrong with Nutella. If you guys like chocolate, the Nutella one, the strawberry Nutella is definitely the one to order. Okay, speed review time. The lychee valentine was solid, but nothing crazy. The flavors of the lychee was strong and great, but without the lychee, the crepe itself was pretty mild and average. For this one, I'm gonna give it a 5.8. For the Dolce de Leche, this one was a step up. The flavors worked well together, and the mix of the cream and nuts allowed for a more flavorful experience. I'd give this one a 6.7. For the strawberry Nutella, this one's a classic for a reason. If you love chocolate, I highly recommend this one. The flavors were rich and delicious, and plus, you can't really go wrong with a strawberry and chocolate duo. I'll give this one a 7.6. Overall, a turn crepe was a really fun experience. I'm going to give them an overall score of a 6.9 out of 10. If you're in the area and in the mood for crepes, I don't see why you shouldn't stop here. I'll leave the links in the description box down below. So we are literally in Brooklyn and I decided I want some pizza. It's not on the food tour, but let's make it happen. I have to get which one? The white lover? Because you're dating me. But I don't love you. We can't go to Brooklyn without trying some pizza. So yeah, can I get a slice of mozzarella? Look at all this pizza, guys. Shout out to, uh, what is this place called? Uh, what? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Some Brooklyn pizza I've had uh, I've had in the city, you know what I'm saying? But I've never had it in Brooklyn, so. He's also getting 99 cents, so don't expect too much. Let's see how this is, all right? I love being good, though. Oh, mozzarella on top. 99 cent pizza. The bread is so good here. And this is not sponsored on the food tour at all. I'm gonna give this an eight. This is really good pizza. It's weird, the cheaper pizza is better. I went to Lombardi's and Lombardi's wasn't that good. Sorry, Lombardi's. <laughs> That's like one of the most known spots in the yeah. city. And I was like, eh. Real quick, I wanted to thank our sponsor of the food tour, the Selena Hotel in Chelsea, New York City. The Selena was a great place to stay during the trip, and you guys can see from these clips how beautiful everything there was. The place truly made me feel like a New Yorker, and the staff there was great. They also offered delicious coffee in the morning, which is a great amenity to add, and I highly recommend them for anyone who's looking to stay in the city. So be sure to give the Selena and Chelsea a look for your next visit in New York City. All right, now back to the video. All right, guys, we are here at Essex Market. It's another little food hall. I'm gonna show you guys what we got inside. So we are gonna be checking out one of the premier spots at, at Essex Market. But as you guys can see, this place is freaking awesome. There's everything here. There's Bada Bing, and then there's Bada Boom. For our next spot, we'll be at Kati Donner. Founded by Erkan Amiri, Kati specializes in Donner kebabs, a dish that originated in modern day Turkey. I won't explain too much as Erkan is here to tell us what Kati's all about. And quick note, if the audio sounds off, it's because we actually had to record the audio post-production as the original audio cut out. Huge thanks to Erkan for taking the time out of his day and recording and sending that in. Welcome to Kati Berliner Donner Kebab here at the one and only Essex market in the Lower East Side. It is our third location, but our first Manhattan location. 
I am Erkan Emre, founder and CEO of Coti, and I'm really excited to show you what uh, we have here. We are serving a taste of Berlin today. In the early 70s, you had Turkish immigrants come over to uh, Germany, and they brought with them this healthy Mediterranean-style cooking with the deliciousness that uh, you will see us pack into the orders. That is the Döner Kebab, the Wrap, and our keto-friendly salad. All of those products have something in common, which is our hormone-free, antibiotic-free chicken. You will see us skew those every morning for lunch and every afternoon for dinner so that whatever we serve is the freshest and most quality ingredient that we could possibly put together for our guests. The döner kebab is a focaccia-like Turkish pita bread that is lightly toasted so it has this wonderful crispy texture on the outside. It's fluffy on the inside and you can see us put in our chicken that we are thinly slicing off our vertical rotisserie and of course our garden fresh toppings that you see us here from the lettuce us all the way to the uh, red cabbage that is lightly pickled our tomato cucumber with hint of dill the thinly sliced red onion and finish it off uh, with a crumbled feta and a squeeze of lemon not to forget that those who really want to have less bread they typically opt to have our wrap which is delicious and the keto friendly salad of course is a delicious meal so i can't wait to welcome you and thank you so much for taking the time so we are at kadi kadi donner <laughs> and as you guys can see from everything earlier he he freaking hooked it up. And by the way, guys, this is Morgan. Hi. You guys didn't know, she is a food vlogger from New York City. She has the great food vlog. Go ahead and talk about Thank yourself a little you. bit. I have been taking photos of food for almost seven years. I started my Instagram when I was a junior in high school. So we are gonna try out literally everything that they got. I can't believe they've made us so much. Let me give you guys a rundown of everything we have. Here's the Donner kebab. kebab. We have the Durham wraps here. And then here we have the roasted keto friendly salad and the halal style chicken over rice with white sauce. I can't believe we have so much food. This is honestly like ridiculous, but he said that we were gonna still feel light after this. So are you ready? Really? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Let's do the Donner kebab first. You ready? Yep. Oh, it's really good. Mm. I like the meat a lot. Yeah, the meat's got really a lot of flavor, good. yeah. Right off the bat, the bread is exactly as he described it. It's super soft in the inside and the outside's really crunchy. Mm -hmm. Oh my God. All right, so this is what it reminds me of. You're going to a Mediterranean place. Just imagine the best and biggest wrap you can possibly think of. Boom, that's what it is. And also the pickled cabbage, perfect flavor on it. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of used to like dry kebab, mm -hmm. but this is totally the opposite of that. There's yeah. so much flavor. Honestly, I think every single element of this just complements the others. I'm a huge fan. I would order this again. This is definitely up there. I'm gonna give it an 8.8 .8 and I'm gonna try the wrap. The thing with Kadi is a lot of their stuff is very similar. They use a lot of the same ingredients. It's just all in different forms, whether you want it a salad, whether you want it over rice, or you want it in a wrap. Yes. What's the biggest bite you think you could take? Um, <laughs> Sink <yes>. it. <laughs> Sink it. I kind of like this more than that. That's weird. I kind of agree. Maybe I'm just a burrito guy. I think it's in a form that's just so easy to eat. This is like an easy snack. I, I can just mm -hmm. completely devour this. But even, again, it's the same flavors, but there's something about just holding it yeah. and being able to eat it. I think the bread makes it not feel heavy. And it's not bread, but yeah. wrap. Yeah, <laughs> perfect for like a, a child. I don't know why, I feel like a kid. A child. I feel like a kid, I'm just like, eh. And my mom's just like, hey, here's a wrap. I'm gonna give this a nine, just because I can, it's the, the accessibility of it. Mm -hmm. Thank you, by the way, um, to the owner of this place. He was so nice. He did so much for us. He didn't have to do this. It was really good. But it would. I'm a fan of this one. I made this whole thing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this one's okay. different. This, one's different. this is different. I can't tell which one I would order more between these two. It's Definitely good. the burrito first. Collective score, I'm, I'm assuming an 8.4. Okay. All right, <laughs> 8.4 on this one. <laughs> All right, salad time. Okay, I have a feeling that this is like the light, like, so healthy. Look at this, guys. There's arugula, spinach. <laughs> Me personally, I like that more than these. I'm giving that an 8.9. That's right below the wrap to me. I don't know. I'm just a huge fan of veggies. Maybe I'm just a veggie guy. I'm going vegan. <laughs> so I got to talk about Cody here. Cody is a really interesting place. The owner is super nice. The workers are awesome. And it's in a great location. The first one that we saw was actually in the other food market, which was the Decal food market. And then the one here is in Essex. So whether you're going to any of their locations, you're gonna be around a bunch of cool stuff. On top of that, 
Dude, they have like a spit roast chicken. You have to go just for that. Like, that's so cool. But that reminds me of like food trucks, of like Mexican food trucks where there's a spit roast. Overall, flavors are really good. If you like Mediterranean food, I would recommend you go here because it has a lot of those flavors. He was right about the fact that it is light food. Huge fan of this place. I love the food. Flavors are great. And any last words? I'm feeling good about myself after eating. <laughs> and it's not that common, I would say. I'm going to give Cotty an 8.7. I think it's really great. You can get anything in any form, and I'm almost sure anyone would like some type of form of this, whether you want a salad, whether you want a wrap. And then these burritos are definitely the ones for me. So yeah, overall, 8.7. Sorry to interrupt, but real quick, I did a giveaway in my last video for an Amazon gift card. This is going to be for everyone who listened to the instructions and commented a food city in the last video. Thank you to those for watching through the video, and with that being said, let's spin the wheel. And the winner is Jacob Barkov. Make sure that you comment in the comment section down below your email, and I'll verify that it's you and then send you your gift card. Okay, now back to the video. Now for dinner, we're at Flip Ziggy. Started in 2015, Flip Ziggy is a Filipino restaurant that provides a modern take on approachable Filipino food. With highlights like burritos, tacos, rice bowls, and chicken wings, Flip Ziggy has a diverse menu that is guaranteed to have something for everyone. I personally love Filipino food, so let's see how it is. All right, so we are here at Flip Sig Flip Ziggy. <laughs> Flip Siggy. And this is pretty much essentially a Filipino place, but also I noticed that they have a twist on their food here. It's Filipino based and Filipino flavors, but it's on different types of cultures of food. For instance, they have chicken wings, they have tacos here, and they have bowls, which is super sick. And even on top of that, they have bao buns, which is really cool. This is what we got here, pork bao buns, and they look really good. And I can already tell. So these are their hot home run wings. Y'all know I love wings, so I'm super excited to try this. Morgan's also here for uh, this one as well. And if, Morgan, can you show them what you got? Yeah. <laughs> chicken adobo with rice and fried eggs. Look at how beautiful that is, guys. Yummy. Really nice. The chicken is a very strong flavor in a good way. I really like the rice. I love when it's mixed together the most Ooh. with the egg yolk. It's easy to pull off. Like, wow, look at that. Kind of like pulled chicken. Look at that. There you go. Pulled it off. So right off the bat, their wings here, they have a really nice smoky smell to it, which I'm a huge fan of. It has this orange sauce on the outside. Oh my god, I licked it. It's very spicy. You could not eat this. So wing time, home run wing. Wow. It's very smoky. It's almost like they put a dry rub around it and then they put it in a wet sauce. And that's why the, the actual flavors of the chicken has that smoky taste. The sauce that it's dry rubbed on is already spicy. It's almost a chili base type of sauce. And then they put a wet sauce on the top of it. That wet sauce is what is really spicy though. It's in the field of ghost pepper, not that spicy, but it is up there, but it's really good. I'm gonna give the wings an 8.1. Very solid wings. Are you ready for the bao buns? Yeah. What's that like? It's hard. Squishy, I don't know what it is. The flavor on that is ridiculously weird. In like a good way. It's very pickled. Wait, they're actually pickles. I'm tripping. So they're sweet pickles. Um, the barbecue is also sweet. The outside is very soft. It's a different twist on a uh, Filipino food, essentially. I'm gonna give the bao buns a seven. <laughs> She's eating spicy, guys. <laughs> a little too spicy. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Look at her, guys. I'm dead. This is really good to me. It tastes really uh -huh, good. Uh -huh. it tastes, I like that better than this. But it's too that spicy. Room. You think I could fit this all in my mouth, Morgan? Yeah. Should you put it all in your mouth at once? I don't know. Can you? Will you? Probably. <laughs> wow. Wonderful. Oh my god, guys. I ate like three of them now. My dad would love these. That's how spicy these are, man. <laughs> it's hard. I'm like dreading eating this, but it's so good. The flavor is really good. Oh, okay, the spice meter is an 8.7. All right, so this is their flip chicken sandwich here. It looks absolutely, whoa. Oh my God. <laughs> it looks so good. Look at this freaking sandwich. It looks like absolute Chick-fil-A, but spicy as hell on steroids. That's really good. Yeah. This is massive, yo. I'm gonna give this a shot here. Oh my God, that is so good. That's way better than any other rest. It's a Chick-fil-A grilled chicken sandwich, but really spicy. It's got a ton of flavor. The flavor profile is a lot like a Chipotle mayo, but like super, super spicy. 
is that same roasted smoky chili taste. Oh my god, it is spicy. They have spicy ass food here, and I love that. I'm gonna give the sandwich the highest score of all of these. I'm gonna give it an 8.8. .8. And then we're gonna try the dessert. So here we have the banana and we have the ube bao nanas. What is this like? It's bread pudding. Okay, bread pudding. They're doing a collab with this company. It kind of looks like <laughs> it looks like hummus from the camera. <laughs> Doesn't it look like hummus, y'all? But anyways, there's bread in the bottom. Oh my god, so good. Yeah? Oh my god. Shout out to Jacob. You would like banana ube. Oh my god. Oh my god. Jacob would say this is good old Nana pudding. Mama's Nana's pudding. <laughs> Banana pudding. It's so good. I'm gonna give it a 9.5. This is really good. If you guys come to Flip Siggy, you have to get the dessert. They cycle out, but right now they're collaborating with Bao Nanas, and it is so freaking good, guys. Y'all know how much I love desserts, and this is like, this is amongst the best. So, overall conclusion on this place. This place is the real deal when it comes to spicy food. They have a lot of Filipino flavoring. I love what they're doing here. They're trying to mix cultures. I'm a huge fan of that. I'm gonna give an overall score of a 7.9. If you guys like spicy, definitely check this place out. Also, this dessert is to die for. I'm gonna leave their links in the description box down below and I will catch up with you guys into whatever we get up to next. Also, thank you so much, Morgan, for being a part of the food tour. You're welcome. Everybody check out her Instagram. Thanks for having me. Look how cute this little doggy is. Hey, buddy. Subscribe to my YouTube channel. <laughs> hey, buddy. What's up, buddy? He's a lover. Yeah, he really is. Um all right guys, we are at our last spot of the day. We are at Ample Hills Creamery. Of course, the classic loon mood, even though it is freezing cold outside, I decided I still want ice cream because I'm a psychopath. This used to be a mom and dad pop shop, but it was uh, it's under new ownership now. And this place is really sick. There's multiple locations and it's Brooklyn based. We're actually at the location in 8th Avenue in Chelsea right now, which is super close to Selena Hotel, which is our sponsor of the video. So if you guys actually end up staying in Selena, you guys can literally walk here. It's freaking awesome. This place is freaking so cool. Their most popular favor, which we're gonna try today is gonna be the ooey gooey. Look at how fun these flavors are. Crackers, potato chips, pretzels, and even crushed M&Ms in there. How freaking sick is that? And if you go down here, you can check out that they have many, many other flavors. And they even have a special flavor like the Chelsea Morning just for this location. All righty, we got three interesting flavors here. So apparently we have to, have to, have to, have to try the ooey gooey. This is the staple here. I see why this is the staple here. It is very sweet cream. Tastes almost like a birthday cake, except it's like a birthday cake, but with the bottom of a cheesecake. It's delicious. It's very good. Oh my God. <laughs> I'm gonna need a second, guys. That's a 9.6. That's a really, right. really good ice cream. I'm almost scared to eat the rest now because I, I feel like I started with the best. Second flavor here is the coffee toffee. This is one of the workers' favorites right here. And you guys can tell they don't, they don't skimp with the chunks here. Ooh. Oh my god. You guys hear that crunch? Mm -hmm. oh. Whoa. It literally tastes like an espresso shot. Hold up. This is the... You guys like this ASMR? It literally tastes like caramel drizzled on top of an espresso shot. If you guys can inject an espresso shot with caramel, this is what it is. This is so good. Really strong in the toffee notes. I feel like not everyone loves toffee, but I do. So this is definitely for me. If you're a coffee fan, this is this is gonna be for you. For me, this is gonna be a 9.2 out of 10. I don't think this place is gonna get lower than a nine, but we are gonna try the mango, so we'll see how that goes. Fun fact, this place also has vegan ice cream for all the vegans out there. There's actually two flavors that are vegan. There's raspberry and mango. So this is their mango flavor. You guys know me. I have to order mango whenever there's an option. Oh, and the top is crusty. Look at that. I'm excited for this one. Yo. You know what that tastes like? That tastes like mango mochi ice cream. And by that, I mean, when you get mango mochi ice cream at a really good place, the ice cream inside is very impactful in flavor. It's not airy at all. You're gonna get a smack of mangoes and it's not the sour type, it's the sweet type. Really imagine how sweet mangoes can taste. This is top of the line right here. Dude, the textures of this. I think this is the first one of today. I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Golf claps. Ample Hill Creamery's mango is a 10 out of 10, and it's vegan. Mitch, you would love this. Oh my god. I love the vibes here. The burger's very nice, and ice cream's great. So many good flavors. I'm gonna give Ample Hill's Creamery a 9.6. It's the highest score of today. What a great way to end the day. Yo, before we wrap up, this is so good. I gotta finish this right now. One, two, three, start the timer.
Oh my god. I am so cold. This is gonna wake me up. There's coffee in this. Oh yeah. Oh my god, I have such a brain freeze, guys. Oh yeah, here we go. I can't do it. Wait, I can't, I can't. I kinda wanna enjoy it. Okay. Well, I finished too. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? <laughs> it's actually the next day and we are about to film our third part of the food tour, but I forgot to wrap up the second part. So with that being said, thank you so much if you guys checked out this video. I really appreciate each and every one of you guys. Make sure you guys stay tuned for part three. And if you guys haven't checked part one yet, press right here for me. I love you guys. I hope you guys have a great day and stay tuned for the next video. Catch you guys then. Peace.